Hey folks, I'm John P. And I'm Callie Lewis. This is Talk Mobile 2013. We've been talking security all week long, but right now we want to talk a little bit about the future of security in all areas. What are we going to do about this whole security problem? Solve it right now, Kevin. <laughs> 42. Uh, hey, it's solved. All right. Thank Thanks, you guys. Thanks, guys. For joining right. us. Oh. It's interesting. I used to have a friend who worked in security, and he would get to go all around the world and try new security. And they would, for example, do palm readings, but you had to put it into Jello, like liquid, so that it made sure it was a real hand. Or it would come up and do a bone scan, but it would go all the way around you to make sure no one was hiding behind you to get in. And there's a lot of companies, I mean, like people that print money, that are doing lots of really interesting things with security now. I feel better overall with computer security today than I did five, ten years ago. I don't remember the last time I had a virus. I don't even need to install antivirus on Windows anymore. Yeah, is that because the companies took over from third parties? Yeah, I think because it became such a serious issue. Look at browsers. Browsers, you know, have become a lot more secure. The chances of getting infected by clicking a bad link still exists, but it's way less than it was years ago. It's really interesting because we're talking about this in other weeks where your phone is now the key to your house, the key to your car. Right. What happens when your phone gets compromised? What happens when all the stuff that you have, it's not just what's lost on your phone anymore, but it's access to your computer, to everything. Or what happens if your phone is your computer? We talked about that before, too. So the more we do with it, the more responsibility we give to that phone. You know, it's unlocking my car, my door, my house, and it's doing all sorts of things. The more at risk it is, if I lose it, it's going to be really devastating. Like Securities often, they react to a bad situation right. that's happened. Not many companies get in front of it. And maybe it's not a sexy user-facing feature, but if someone took the stage at I.O. or Build or Live or WWC and said, this year we're reinventing security, I think that would be a boon to all of us. Good it. luck, because it's never a problem until it's a problem. Yeah, you, will you will never condition people that they need to take this stuff seriously until something bad happens. And like I said, the fingerprint scanner was out three, four years ago. Never caught on. We still don't see it widely adopted. I think of things like uh, geolocation, and people are, for the most part, habitual. So if I'm always at home in the evening, at 3 a.m., because that's when I'm sleeping, but all of a sudden my phone gets taken out of the house, you know, because John P. broke the window and <laughs> snatched it at any expense. It's an unusual leave. It's an unusual it's leave. Yeah. It should just go into lockdown mode until I verify it and unlock yeah. it. And I think there's a lot of room. I don't know if that's being done or not. How about if my watch can Talk communicate with ring. my ring? Yeah, and yeah. multi-point of physical object. Yeah. This ring I have had on for 23 years. I've not taken it off. Why can't we embed something in that RFID. ring? RFID. Yeah, exactly. Put an RFID yeah. in my ring, it's not coming off right. of me unless they take my finger or steal it from right. me. But you know, Wait, but that's that a also assume point. that they knew that's what it was. That's because right. If you can pick the object, it's almost like a totem from you know, what's that movie Inception, mm -hmm. where it's your own personal object <laughs> that only you know about that you always wear. If I'm you know, Donald Trump, maybe I'm going to have you make a personal thing out of my device, but if I'm just an average person, there's no reason I can't buy things off the shelf and you say... You buy a ring that's just like everybody else's Or ring. I could have bracelets, rings, mm -hmm. necklaces, earrings, right. glasses, belts, and the system could know that if I have th any three of these devices on me at one time, there's a very high chance that it's me. Mm -hmm. So that, you know, you fill your wardrobe with these things, you pair them one at a time, and bingo. I mean, that's a that that would work. I'm liking the this potential future that we're talking about. Sharks what with about, freaking lasers on their heads? No, the other thing. Oh, okay. What about you guys? What do you think the future will be like? What do you want to see? What are you already seeing? Leave a comment below. We need one of you to solve this for all of us. So tell us how it's you're going to do you. it. It's up to you. I know you're brilliant. I'll fund it. How's that? <laughs> I'm a VC. I'll fund it. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for joining us. Come back next week for more, and uh, we will see you later. I'm Callie Lewis. I'm John P. Adios. Bye.